Welcome to Streets of the U.S. Today, I will be in Hawaii discussing the Uso family prison gang. This gang was started in 1998 by Hawaiian inmates who were serving time in the Oklahoma prison system. Those inmates had been sent to Oklahoma because of prison overcrowding in Hawaii. This gang is believed to be the strongest in the Hawaiian prison system. The Uso family have a rank structure and have been involved in murders. In 2013, 18 members of the Uso family were indicted for federal racketeering charges. This particular indictment also involved a prison guard. This indictment stated that the gang had been involved in drug trafficking, violence, robbery, and fraud. This gang was also involved in filing fake tax returns. The gang would get the money from the tax return and then they would use that to fund illegal activities. These funds were used inside the prison and on the street. In 2015, a member of the Uso family was sentenced to 17 years in prison. Tamalo Atkins was a shot caller for the Uso family at Halawa Prison. He was found guilty by a jury for leading an attack on another inmate. That attack left the man with facial fractures and a traumatic brain injury. In 2022, Minty Malgotega proudly told the police that he carved the initials of his gang into the chest of another inmate at a prison in Arizona. Minty was a member of the Uso family and he had killed the rival gang member. The prosecuting DA in the case showed graphic photos of the victim who was stabbed multiple times. The victim had multiple defense wounds. This brutal case made Minty eligible for the death penalty under Arizona law, even though both men were Hawaiian prisoners serving time in Arizona. The state of Hawaii had got rid of the death penalty in 1957. This case is the first time a Hawaiian prisoner has been tried for the death penalty in Arizona. Minty was a shot caller for the Uso family. According to law enforcement, he also was a gang enforcer. The victim in this case was a member of a prison gang called Westside. The jury was deadlocked earlier this year on the death penalty sentence. The prosecuting DA plans to try this trial again later this year or next year. If you like this story, please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Thank you.